Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I will be killing 10,000 hill giants on my Iron Man and the goal for this video is to get as many totem pieces as possible plus obor keys. The gear for this video was full obsidian. Pretty much the best uh, in-slot melee gear that I have right now. And the main weapon was a whip. Inventory was pretty simple, just superset as well as a prayer potion occasionally so I can have preserve on. And a little bit of anglerfish, but I definitely did not need any of those. Alongside that, the herb sack and the gym bag. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick little 10 second shout out to ironsidecomputers.com. Use the link in the description below and save 5% off anything and everything at your final checkout. That link is good for a while, so if you're saving up for a PC, keep that in mind. And moving right back. Back on to the hill giants for today uh this was all going to be tracked with rune light as well as most of the stackable drops such as the runes and the steel arrows will be in my inventory the whole time i won't be picking up things like beginner clues because you get them so often and i do have a beginner clue scroll video planned in the future anyway so i wasn't going to bother with any of those i also decided not to pick up any of the low tier herbs but all of the ones over you know a thousand coins i would be picking up in my herb sack and i did not want to pick up the insold heads either or the iron arrows but as it goes for pretty much everything else I was picking it up and uh, the way I would basically bank would be whenever I'd run out of my supersets staying potted the whole time made sure that I hit much higher than I usually would and since these hill giants only have 35 HP it wasn't really hard to kill them a lot of the times I was just one hitting them now there are eight locations where you can kill hill giants in runescape so quite a lot of opportunities and uh, you know places to check out if you wanted to do that but for this video I really wanted totem people Pieces, so that's why I chose the Catacombs of Karend. There was also a decent amount of spawns here, and the only thing that was unfortunate was that they were not aggro, aggressive in other words, so they would not attack me. I would have to manually click them 10,000 times. That is okay though, because it was still relatively AFK, and I was having a lot of luck with the giant keys in the beginning of the video, averaging 1 out of every 100 kills, although the drop rate is 1 in 128. Now, if you do decide to camp Obor and you want as many giant giant keys as possible, then I definitely recommend you check out the wilderness because the drop rate is half there instead of 1 in 128, it is 1 in 64. Had I been on my main account, I certainly would have done the wilderness, but I am trying to play on both accounts all the time now, so this kind of just worked out for my Iron Man instead. And as I mentioned in my last video, no matter the amount of keys that we end up with, because if we do the math on 10,000 kills and the drop rate's 1 in 128, we're probably not going to get 100 keys, although we will get close. So that is why either tomorrow night or the night after that I will be releasing individually loot from 100 Ober. I've only killed that boss a couple times on my main account so I don't really know what to expect from all the drops that I'm going to receive but I am excited and I hope you guys are as well. Now these hill giants don't really have the most exciting drop table. What you see in the inventory is pretty much the most uh, worthwhile things to pick up, minus the insult heads, of course. I do need to get a soul bearer on this account still, so that, you know, I haven't gone out of my way to do that yet. But as you can see in the bank here, we did reach a full totem. I still had one piece left over, so I'm going to probably make that into two pretty soon. And what do you know? We actually managed to get the giant champion scroll, which is one in 5,000. Got that very early on in the video, probably about 1,500 kills in at this point. So that is incredible. And uh, that is one in, you know, 5,000, as I mentioned before. So pretty much the rarest thing you can get from a hill giant other than the curved bone, which is one in 5,016. So, you know, it's pretty close there. And of course, I did forget to mention that you can get a lot of long bones here. And I picked up every single one of them. The drop rate of that is one in 400. So you can imagine if I'm killing 10,000, I'm going to get well over 20. And I certainly did. And uh, I definitely filmed all of the construction XP that I got at the end, trading those bones in in the Dorgashan area so look forward to a ton of construction XP go figure getting a lot of construction XP on an Iron Man account just from killing hill giants so that's pretty awesome as well as the totem pieces I was getting some ancient shards which is incredible my arc light on this account already had 10,000 charges in it and I think I was starting with almost 30 ancient shards in the bank so anything I get will just be extra and one day I will use it for probably Zamorak and of course all the Scotizo kills at the end as well so the arc light will come in handy for sure and the more charges the better 
Uh, alongside all that, we were getting some loop keys and tooth key drops, uh, rarely, but they are on that rare drop table, so you can expect a couple of those. The Ring of Wealth was equipped the whole time. This is just to collect all the coin drops. Uh, if you kill something so many times, you might as well just use a Ring of Wealth. Otherwise, you're going to have to click on those coins individually or just not get them at all. So I definitely always use a Ring of Wealth in this account. I was on attack the whole time, just getting more attack XP. Currently, I'm working on 20 mil strength XP on my Iron Man and then 20 mil attack XP. So I didn't want to do shared because if I do shared XP, I will get 99 defense. I've been like 50k XP away for a year now or longer. And I am saving uh, getting that 99 probably for tomorrow or a day after that, maybe in the next upload on this account. As most of you guys know from these Iron Man uploads, for those of you who have followed the Iron Man videos in the past year or so, I do enjoy getting my 99s during a loot video. I believe I got 99 attack or strength on the loot from 5,000 Abyssal Demons and, uh, you know, things like that. So it's really cool uh, to get a 99, makes for a nice clip in the video. So I'm looking forward to 99 defense soon, as well as 99 magic. That'll be awesome, and that'll take care of all my melees. Minus uh, prayer. I definitely have to get 99 prayer eventually, but yeah, long, long time off of that. So a little history about these hill giants. They were released into the game January 4th, 2001 primarily known as a, you know, moneymaker for free-to-players. I wouldn't say it's a good moneymaker, but now that Obor has been released and it's been in the game for quite a while now, Hill Giants became a little bit more profitable with that potential to get all of the giant keys, so that's pretty nice. I wouldn't imagine many, you know, people who are members uh, kill Hill Giants unless they want to go for the keys or unless they have a Slayer task of them, but overall, it's just a really nostalgic monster. I remember uh, growing up, I would always safe spot them with range and free-to-play. I'd have that brass key and I'd open up that door, go down those ladders, and yeah, kill hill giants for hours and hours to get 40 range. Good times, simpler times, but yeah, getting back to the video, the bank tab is growing. I was able to get a couple rune spear drops, a nature talisman here and there, rune javelins, you know, exciting things, and as you can see, that gym bag really coming in handy, already over 80 sapphires at this point, as well as a decent amount of rubies, emeralds, and diamonds, so that is a lot of uncut gems. Insert the Adam Sam reference here. Moving on from that though, at this point in the video we were about 7,000 kills in. Not the best luck with the uh, giant keys. I was having really good luck for the first couple of hours, but then I think my luck kind of changed for the worse, and I was having some dry hours, which is okay. I'm actually going to be killing hill giants all night tonight, so I'm sure I'll uh, get some more keys for that Obor video. Hopefully I have a little bit better RNG there, but uh, either way, since I'm just kind of focusing on my Iron Man right now, I'll definitely get a lot more kills. The reason this video took so long is because I was doing uh, so many things on my main at the same time. I was doing bandos the whole time that I was killing hill giants as well as temporos so you know i was always hands-on and this account was kind of just the secondary clicking i wasn't really uh, prioritizing it in any way but i still managed to get 10,000 kills done which kind of makes me think i can do 10,000 moss giants soon but i think my next iron man video after 100 obor uh which should be tomorrow night maybe the night after that depending on how lucky or unlucky i get with the key drops that remain uh i do think i'm going to be doing 10 hours of salarin the twisted a lot of people recommended that with magic uh to get my magic XP a little bit higher, and apparently he's pretty good. I've never made a video on him before, so I'm very excited for that. Thank you guys very much for the suggestions. I always read the comments, and I have about 16 ideas written down for my main and my Iron Man right now, thanks to you guys. So, helps out a ton. Eh, just stop telling me to get the Inferno cape, and we'll be okay. Now, I know a lot of people are disappointed in the fact that I don't have one, but guys, it's gonna happen one day. Just, just not right now. So, just putting that out there. And as I am narrating in-game right now, I'll just repeat it. 60 keys and 9,000 kills almost. Uh, you know, always got to type in game. Something I've always done. I'll probably never stop. I, I just like doing it, so it's my reasoning. Well, those long bones are certainly stacking up. Uh, as you can see, I did have pretty much every single item here already before this video. Thanks to all these loot videos, I have a great amount of nature talismans and rune spears, as well as dragon spears because of the rare drop table on most monsters. But that's why we have the rune light loot tracker. It did account for all 10,000 kills, and I will show that uh, rune light loot tracker at the end of the video, just so you guys get a good idea of all of the loot you can get from 10,000 kills if you somehow picked up every single item, big bones included. I think the only people picking up big bones are definitely the free-to-players, and again, you know, decent source of money for free-to-players. I, I wouldn't say it's good, but uh, it's not bad. You know, those options are very limited in free-to-play on how to make money unless you're a bot, so I would say hill giants are, you know, 
one of the things to do. Now, I am glad that I decided to kill them in the catacombs of Corinne because we do get a decent amount of Scotizo kills. Maybe I'll get the pet. Uh, certainly, we'll get some clue scrolls, uh, hard clue scrolls, maybe even an elite if I'm lucky enough. On my Iron Man account, I can't complete all the hard clues, uh, but I can complete most of them. I think there's Morning's Ends Part 1 and 2 that I haven't done, so I can't complete the Death Rune step, as well as some other music tracks, uh, such as A Kingdom Divided. I just haven't gotten around to doing all those quest requirements, so hopefully I'll be able to do most of the clues that we do get from Scotizo. But hey, we're about to find out. Loot from 10,000 Hill Giants has been completed. I know I complained a lot during this video because of how long it took, but gosh, it just took forever, you know? Really glad to be done with this one. You can only enjoy clicking on a hill giant so much, you know? And after 10,000 times, it's, um, yeah, I'm glad we're done. 76 keys overall, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to bring out everything. Uh, specific drops with these keys and whatnot, these spears, will all be shown in the rune light loot tracker. That's why I didn't withdraw everything, because I certainly didn't get all of them from this video. But all the runes and the arrows, as well as the coins, were kept in the inventory, so that's pretty nice. And the overall loot rounded up is about 1.1 mil from 10,000 hill giants. And this, this is, of course, without the insult heads. And we can't forget about the untradeables, the champion scroll, as well as all the long bones and all of the totem pieces. But looking at the rune light loot tab, it is uh, equivalent to 4.9 mil, just about, 196 beginner clues, 31 ancient shards, 8 full dark totems, and 1 giant champion scroll. A lot of beginner clues. If you ever want to kill uh, something for beginner clues, look no further. I also gained a ton of experience and attack. I think it was close to like 1.4 million attack XP, so that's just insane. Uh, it's really crazy. But now, as we move on to the Scotizo, my kill count was only 4 coming into this video. And this is actually where I died died and lost my ancient staff and my amulet of glory trimmed many years ago at Scotizo. Bad memories, but you know, he is a powerful monster, really is, especially if your special attack doesn't hit. Maybe that's just because, you know, my Iron Man certainly is not as well set up as my main account is, but needless to say, I was really enjoying the possibility of completing these clue scrolls. I was two for two at this point, and uh, the third kill was going pretty smoothly. It's just really important to bring an arc light here, as well as a decent amount of food and stamina potions so you can always run around and hit those altars and one hit them with an arc light. I remember a couple weeks back I used a whip on my main account before I bought the fang and I think it took like six minutes to kill Scotizo so you definitely want to have a good weapon here because the kill can take a long long time if you don't. And a great thing about Scotizo is that it really doesn't have any bad drops alongside it. I mean every single kill you get something very useful or something very expensive. For example 20 Snapdragon just here will definitely help me with Herb Lore. And we were four for four at this point, little Wendy's combination, and, uh, you know, I was really happy to see that, but unfortunately, on my fifth hard clue, I did run into some trouble. I did have to do Morning Zen's part one and two in order to unlock a music track. Maybe I didn't have to complete them, but I certainly had to start them or at least get midway for that music track, so I kind of made the decision to just drop it because, you know, it's, it's a lot of time spent to do that, and I, oh, I just do not like questing, so... That was unlucky for me. And uh, to make matters even worse, it was the last step. And the same thing happened on the next one. I uh, was on four steps into it, and then unfortunately I needed to do a Kingdom Divided in order to complete that clue scroll. And when I was at the Mage Bank, I did run into a PKer, which is a first for me. Really me brings me back to 2005 on that one, but luckily I logged out in time. Honestly, I think they were AFK anyway, so I, yeah, maybe I should have spec them. That would have been some content right there, but you know, we are in the Iron Man, so I kind of limit myself on this account. I try not to be as reckless as I am on my main. And there we have it. Eight Scotizo have been killed. Six Clue Scrolls have been completed. And now we're going to turn in all the long bones that I received. 27 long bones for 171,000 construction XP and 38k coins. So I made 1.4 mil in drops from Scotizo. Eight kills. And now we are opening up these six Clue Scrolls. Not the greatest first reward, but decent second reward those teleports will come in handy i didn't have my collection log uh turn on for this one so those blue dehyde chaps that was the only unique out of all of these caskets but 
yeah, not the best unique to receive, but that's okay. I already got a Robin Hood hat on this account a long time ago. So 500k from the Clue Scrolls and 1.4 mil from the Scotizo. Looking at the overall Rune Light loot tracker here, very useful to have this enabled. And that is about it, guys. So uh, yeah, all the Clues, all the Scotizo, all the Hill Giants, and much more to come. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you have a great weekend, and until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.